Can I manage to get out of this on my own? This question was sent to me by a young woman regarding this deep sadness, this darkness that had spread in her life. And this is another reason why I decided to record four videos for you titled Hope Encountered, Finding the Light in Your Darkness. Because it's an important question, a question I encounter again and again, a question I had to answer again and again for myself. Whether it was during the seven years of my life-threatening eating disorders, after the terrible rape, or during my severe depression. Every single time, I first tried to get out of it on my own, not because I didn't believe in God, but I was embarrassed. I felt myself responsible and therefore guilty. I didn't want to waste God's time. I didn't deserve it any other way. Are you familiar with these thoughts? Are you also lying on the ground like a heap of misery, knowing that everything is possible for God? And maybe you even say this to your friends, but you yourself? Well, if you're honest, you don't believe that yourself anymore. At least not for you. You don't even really spend time with God because your guilt somehow separates you from Him. Oh, how well can I sympathize with you and how good that you are exactly here, nevertheless, with open ears for the truth. For the truth is written in Psalm 23, 6. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. How confident of David to say such a thing. How did he manage to do that? We doubt with every little failure whether God still loves us now. David was much more self-confident, and even when he made mistakes, he did not become quieter in his trust in God's love. Would you like to say this Psalm 23, 6 out loud? Now, at this moment, I'll recite it to you again. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And now you. That wasn't hard, was it? Do you really believe it, like David? I don't think he doubted it. Close your eyes for a moment. Just be exactly where you are for a moment. And now, hear the truth. As God speaks to you personally, surely my goodness and love will follow you all the days of your life. That feels good. The truth does you good, and that's exactly the kind of exercise you should do regularly, at best several times a day, because your mouth must speak what your ears need to hear so that your heart may understand. Shall we repeat the sentence again? Because it was so beautiful, together. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And you know what I love about this verse? That God's love and goodness are not limited in time. It means for a lifetime. This way I know that he will have just as much goodness and love for me tomorrow as he does today. And that's why I know that I need God in order to become free from what has made me so sad, even depressed at the moment. Because no, I will not make it on my own. But when I talk to psychologists and therapists, all of whom do a wonderful and valuable job, I often hear the phrase, we need to teach our patients to live better with their depression. That is helpful, but not liberating. Because, from a human point of view, there may be no liberating solution at all. Have you ever thought about this? I recommend you from the bottom of my heart to get help. I often say, I needed human help to get well and God's help to stay well. That is why you too need God. Because yes, He also offers you help. In Psalm 121 it says, where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. But not only that, 
for these times you are going through, He gives you a security. He offers you the protection you need. Also in Psalm 121 we read, He will not let your foot slip. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. What else? After all, we are talking about God, so surely there is more. Exactly. Power. He offers you His power, as it is written in Psalm 84. Blessed are those whose strength is in you. They go from strength to strength. New strength for every day. Wow. And last but not least, God not only has the ability to set you free, he wants to set you completely free. The Bible says, so if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. May I now ask you directly if you really want to keep trying to get out of this on your own again, when God wants to accompany and gift you with such a wonderful, all-inclusive package on your way back to freedom? That would be a pity as the life you desire may not yet be visible, but within reach. Yes, the life you desire is not yet visible, but within reach. Don't let this phase of your life consume more time than it deserves, especially not when Jesus is by your side as your counselor. And remember, you don't have to do all this on your own because his goodness and love will accompany you all your life. Do you want to say it out loud just one more time with me? Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. Amen. And so I bless you with the help of God to move forward under His protection, to move forward in His power, and to experience the miracle of freedom. If you would like to accept this blessing, please let me know by typing Amen in the comments now. And if you would like to share this blessing with your family or friends, feel free to share this video with them. This was the second of four Hope Encountered Finding the Light in Your Darkness videos today, and I look forward to encouraging you again tomorrow. And don't forget, you are a miracle.